So good day, my name is Doug. I am playing Seven Days to Die, Alpha 19. I am just now picking up a new quest, so let's see what they've got for us. Uh, clear zombies, let's see, that's 500 meters. That is the closest. So, since I just got a book here for fighting indoors, and we're going to the gas station, gas station three. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So we just got this book, Room Clearing. We'll go ahead and use it. That gives me an advantage to fighting indoors. The forge is done. <coughs> so we are going to have a bit of an issue here in that I'm going to want to get the forge started. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. here okay now I am a really big fan of separating the forge and the uh, campfire that way we keep things from getting too hot too fast so I'm going to put the forge here secure and then we're going to put up a chest okay we'll put the chest over there yeah that's going to interfere with the wall but Forgot to put this down. Need to do that. Yeah. Keep it towards the center. Interesting, I've never had a problem placing this before. I did not want to spend all day doing that. Okay, well, I will have to figure this out as we play. And yes, it's an extra thing in my inventory, but I'm not going back upstairs. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and run to pick up that airdrop. And while we're running, I'm just going to go ahead and put the YouTube on uh, pause because, well, running is boring. I uh, will start it back up if I have any combat. Okay, YouTubers, I do need to apologize. I... Uh, <laughs> Went and collected the uh, the uh, airdrop and totally forgot about turning pause back off. So yeah, you missed a bit. Got all this stuff here and fought a bird, first of them. So, but don't worry about that. You'll see more. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and create a drop chest to put all this stuff into. it so it's easy to find and mark
mark it on the map so I don't forget about it, which I have done with these things. Say waypoint X DC. There we go. Yeah, it's always kind of a bit of a bad point when you come across a chest that you totally forgotten about from early on in the game. Five feathers. I'm doing good. Okay. So the first thing we do is a first pass. Let's take a look at it. Collect everything. Nope. Nothing there. There. Burning shaft mod, not bad. Okay. Got a zombie over there. Off to the right. But it's moving away. Good. Check this to see if it works. It does. What do we have in here? Covert cat. That helps sneak. Costs a hundred. Eye candy. Loot bonus. Duration is five minutes. Eye candy is also five minutes. Hackers. Salvage harvest. Okay. Always check those. You get experience just for opening them, so it's always worthwhile. Now remember, when I start this quest, everything in this yard gets reset. So anything I collect right now will be replaced. So it's always a good good idea to make this first pass. Yeah, it takes more time, but it can be worth it. Okay, where it is? There it is. Electrical. Brass. Well, sometimes. Sometimes you get brass out of these. Sometimes it turns out to be iron. And, and don't tell me why. Just it seems like it's a bug. However, I should also say that that is in previous versions. I don't know that that is going to have continued or continue to be the case here in uh, Alpha 19. Yeah. 
Nope, 1,000 points. That means that it's not a fake. When the grill is closed, there's something inside it. Okay, so it is 7 o'clock. That means time is fleeting. Nope, didn't kill it. Okay. Killed him there. So, got an engine. That's a good thing. It's also a three. Okay. Well, I should have enough time to get through this. Now, I always take care of the trash on the ground because it is, it wakes zombies up. Some people don't care. I do. This is where you get the super water. Yay. Whoops. Too close. Come to me. That's right, come to me through the door. I uh, had the wrong implement at hand, which did not help. And, yep, up there. I'm coming up on eight. And cash register. Okay. Toilet is the only thing that's got anything here. Okay. Anything around? No. Oh, frick. Okay. Okay, it's this one. So we got some people up here. Okay, he's down. Trash. Uh, that almost looks like an irradiated, but it seems kind of early in the game stage for me to have an irradiated. Okay, it was a dancer. Well, unfortunately, I don't have to worry about monetization yet. Why am I not able to search? Caps lock isn't on. There we go. I was just too far away. Whew, OK. 
Okay, medical kit, a cabinet, that's always good. Yep, okay. So, where are the zombies that are down there? Well, there's a car down there. And we're coming up on nine. I'm going to have to go call us here pretty soon, run back to the house or to the base. And car up there. Got a tire. That's a good thing. I'll need that for when I build my bicycle. Okay. Just waiting for my stamina to come back up, and let's see, I definitely need to eat more food. And I think drink some water. Now this is all just really points. I'm well. I mean, it's um, loot for me. And then press. What I don't know is if my wrench is going to hold out for this. And that's it for the wrench. Okay. Let's go on downstairs and see what we find. Okay, there's somebody right there. Okay, I waited too long. Not good, but I think he's the last. Nope, he's not. Okay, what do we have here? Repair kits. Which means I get my wrench back. Crap, oh well. And bicycle. Handlebars. I already have uh, read a uh, schematic for the frame. Hey, more 
What is that? No, it's another. Okay, let's see. Melee damage. Power attack, 10 and 22. And 10 and 22, they're the same. No reason to carry that. 10 and 22, they're the same. And this is where I'm going to spend the night. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Yeah, please leave a comment. If you like what I've been doing, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you in the morning.